want to be like the, the you know the cliche of an actor who is also a director and I thought maybe I, I wanted to be very like you know concentrate aimed to this target like only directing and and without you know um acting maybe in my next movie but I'm not sure about it I mean I'm 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 really satisfied with directing so um I thought it will be kind of um, not hard but you know I I mean I, I couldn't see myself you know doing a scene and then going to the monitor to see how it was and then I I know I wouldn't be in the scene with the other actors and uh and I wanted to be really with them so um you know I just, I want to ask two um uh, two more questions before I we bring in more voices uh and everyone here is eager to talk to you so I want to give some context uh, uh as Ken mentioned uh, uh this film is based on an Italian film mm -hmm. uh that was a huge uh, hit in in Israel and uh, the Italian film which is also named Perfect Strangers holds the Guinness record for the uh, biggest number of remakes it has been remade in 24 countries oh 24 uh, now okay <laughs> i know but 23 okay <laughs> including uh including uh vietnam lebanon and and israel interestingly there is no american remake um so because yeah, there yeah, is you no want to know you want to know why why because uh weinstein company uh bought the uh, the rights for it so um mm -hmm. stuck so there's no english remake for that but there's there's the latin remake there's like a lot of like um, um you know chinese and and the funny thing is I, I don't know if it's funny but every culture has its own jokes and you know uh, like say on the movie like i, I saw the trailer of the uh, of the chinese movie and you know they have like swords there they're like taking out swords said, what, what how why swords how did you get there uh or um i don't know the the, the korean movie every, every i mean it's it's funny to see how every country every culture take it to its you know to its private um um you know jokes and um, uh, um nuance yeah, I heard that the French remake failed because the French audience, the, the French audience was like, so what if he has a mistress? <laughs> Every, everyone in France has a mistress. Yeah. Um, but seriously. Uh, un until, until, until the wife, uh, you know, find out. Uh, so. But uh, my question is, I think like the main difference between, like you said, Chinese have swords. So, you know, Israelis have uh, the IDF. Uh I think that like the main difference is the, the the PTSD. Can you talk about like why did you add this uh, um, storyline? Um, when we thought a lot of how how to make it Israeli. Uh, I mean, okay, so we're, we're doing a barbecue, which is very Israeli, and um, there are Israeli jokes. But I wanted to add some something else, like in in like undertone of uh, and. I don't know why, maybe because I deal with a lot of, um, um, you know, there's there's a lot of people in Israel who, who um, you know, had lost their their sons, their dears, their, their family in wars and, well, you know, the situation now. So it's like in every house, like everybody knows, um, I mean, we wanted to keep it, you know, undertone not not in the main um not like not like in the main thing of the movie uh because everybody knows uh in israel anyhow uh what we're talking about um the the the, the post-trauma and and um and i think it's kind of I, I think it's that's very very israeli i mean um i've done a lot of movies dealing with that um in 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 my past career so so um i thought it will be um it will be um uh, right to do that okay i think now now is the time to um open the discussion um i think you will see the, the people talking you won't hear them so i will okay um, yeah i will re repeat the question yeah. 
So we, we do have, please. Oh, now there's a Shiva. Oh, there's uh, Leroy, did you hear the the question? So the question is no, why? No, I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, there, there's 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 this part where uh, Shiva is translated as wake. Is that a translation mistake? Like, are you aware of that or Shiva? Like, uh, yeah, Shiva? like like he the the characters refer to sh sh Shiva. Yeah, but it's translated as wake, which is a Christian. Uh, I, I guess it's a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a mistake. But it's a funny. Because yeah. I mean, everybody knows what Shiva is. So, uh... Question, which is a great question. Uh, why so many? So many? Actually, the vast majority of the secrets are um, are about infidelity and not about like I, I dislike you. I actually dislike you. Um, yeah. So, wh why are so many of the secrets? you know, about uh, the, the the sacred sex life of the characters? Uh, well, there were another of your secrets, not just, but this is like the main enemy. Everybody, uh, you know, it. this is what you go out with the movie, when you go out of the movie. But uh, uh, but there are inside them, I mean, in the movie, like uh, when he's talking to, uh, everybody's had secrets, I mean, the the phone is our life today. I mean, it's it's you know it replaced the the old good diary that we had when we were uh, kids, you know, uh, and now everything like it's in the phone, so it's there. But uh, I mean, it's yeah, eventually um, the the sex thing and that this is what gets the most uh, you know. Uh, but we we added some more uh, we have more like from the Italian movie um we put some more um scenes with um um with the phone which we, they don't have in the, in the in the Italian movie it's more like um in a way uh, of course a comedy but they they kept it as a comedy I mean they don't have like the drama inside. The question is why this story? Why did you choose this? This is your first film behind the camera. Uh, well, I really like the the Italian movie, uh, and um, I thought it will be because, uh, as I was saying, uh, it's it's kind of dealing with actors, and uh, it's more like studio acting because it's one location, uh, and I thought for my first movie it will be good because. I understand cinema, I understand, but um, I wasn't sure enough. So, I mean, shooting wise, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and it, I thought it would be easier for me just to be in a, you know, in one location dealing with actors and concentrate on actors with the actors. But again, there was, uh, you, you need to, um, make the, you know, the, the frame not boring and not, uh, so, but but I think mostly because of because of the actors because um, it, I deal more with the actors than the, the the cinema although there is a lot of cinema inside like um, cinematography I mean why does the film end with the the exercise is is it's funny but is there a, like a statement be, beyond the, the the humor? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of uh, life goes on and uh, everybody keeps his own, I mean, his life and nothing has changed. Everything is the same. Uh, and I thought, I mean, the Italian movie ends like that. And um, most of most of the remix um, ends with with that scene, uh, except for the German version. Uh, by the way, the German version, it all happened. In the German version, yeah. <laughs> um, there's no like um, epilogue to the movie, uh, uh, but I thought it's um, I thought I thought it's a it's a good it's a good scene. It's funny and it ends like you know. I mean, you go out with with um, you know, kind of um, let's say smile and um, happy and um, and maybe it's um, more like. Everything is like it's the same. Everything is the same. In in um, kind of absurd um, way. Well, why not? Why didn't you choose the German ending? Sorry. 
Why didn't you choose the German ending for your version? No, it's not the German ending. It's the, the Italian ending. No. The German. No, but you said the why German ending. Choose, yes. Why didn't I choose the German ending? Yes. I, I don't think it's... Um, I mean, where can you go? You can't go on with your life after that kind of evening. And I mean, it's it's insane. Um, uh, I think the, 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 the Italian director and script, screenwriter... Um, I don't remember his name, but but probably you know of there. I think Paolo uh, Giovanno or Paolo Giovanno. Yeah. yeah. And uh I, I mean you couldn't end it and it's like Deus ex machina, you know, it's uh, uh people can go on with their life after this kind of um evening. Uh and and just think about it. I mean, if you're uh, you know, um secrets of your phone, not just secrets, you know, just you know, whatever if you'll be very um um anxious you say if someone will take your phone and start looking at it i mean uh so imagine uh well, what would happen if if everything if if the end it wasn't like that and i think it's it's kind of you know it's a it's um 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 not a fairy tale but uh, how do you say um like you know a story it starts with the uh you know with the clips and 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 um, it's like we're telling you at the beginning of the movie, not everything is real inside. So uh, pay attention. Yeah. Also, I just want to say I think your version is much better than the Italian version. Because... The Italian is good. Ver it's a good version. You know, uh, it's 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 very good. Although it's it's less um, it's less cinema. It's less cin the cinematography inside is like less. It's more like theater kind of. Um, but I, I think it's a good movie. I mean, uh, well, it had twenty four remakes. So there's a question about the the, the earrings that at the end they're pearl, but they, at, at the beginning they're golden. What? Why? Why did the color change of of the earrings? No, they are the, the same. It's the same. They're the same. Earrings, definitely the same earrings. We wouldn't change it. It's um, I don't know, maybe kind of uh, the light or something, but uh, but it's the same earrings. Uh, nothing has changed there. There's a question there, please. Yeah. So there's there's a question about the you know the secrets regarding the um, sexuality, uh, the homosexuality. So the question is first, what what time period does the film take place is it contemporary or or not and also what are the attitudes in israel regarding uh the lgbt community uh well it's now definitely but um i mean there are places i mean it wouldn't happen in tel aviv or in one of the big cities uh, uh but it, i mean in 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 the suburbs you say how do you say um like um <laughs> Um, yeah, like small cities, you you still can find you know that homosexuality is kind of um, uh, a thing there. You know, uh, it's I I mean yeah we live in Tel Aviv so it's very we're very liberal and uh, I mean I mean it's kind of you know this is how we're living. Uh, but but in uh, I mean when you go out of Tel Aviv and I think in every country it's like that. Uh, I mean the big cities are. Uh, when you go out, then, you know, the education goes one way and it's kind of, uh, there are jokes about, you know, that kind of stuff that people can, you know, try. So this is why the film doesn't take place in, in, in Tel Aviv or, uh, or in other big um, cities. Uh, it's, it's, it's a small, you know, um, um, in the countryside that, that, Things like that can happen, or you know, people can talk about it like that. Um, yeah, to, to me, the characters are like classic middle class Israelis uh, that live outside of of Tel yeah, it's Aviv. Like it's a like a bourgeois, bourgeois, yeah, out of Tel Aviv, yeah. Yeah, it's like a and very accurate uh, representation. Uh, back, back there. First, the, the film was was great, a sentiment shared by us all. Um, two, uh, if you were to make a sequel, Perfect Strangers 2, uh, Revenge of the Empire Strikes, strikes Back, uh, where, where would you start the, 
how would you develop the characters? What will be your starting point? I think I will start with the um um with the couple with uh, um um the America the um um Rotem and um the guy that that lies about his phone um uh with the, I think I will start there because uh I guess in the in, in the third act they take the whole you know um the whole place of the movie they they they, they like the center of the movie because this is the the final act and uh so I think I will start there and to see how uh, they deal with their life how, how they I mean to see how they how their life look like uh um and from there to see I'm, I'm yeah you know I, I I thought at the beginning when I was when when I was thinking about the movie, I, I wanted to be, uh, I mean, to, to to bring out the thing that usually we have like, you know, childhood friends and we grew up with those friends, but everyone, you know, grew up in, in a different way. I mean, someone go to the university, someone goes to uh, the army, someone just, you know, just work for his life and dealing and, and, and people getting changed, but they still, you know, they're still friends. But when they meet in a while, they, usually it's just like yeah, nostal nos, nostalgia, you say? Um, nostalgic things. Uh, because they don't have much to talk with each other. So uh, I guess, you know, I will, I will do it much better next time uh, dealing with that issue. Uh, what happened to us when we see our childhood friend and you know pretending to you know, we love them we, we we you know they are friends and they're like brothers but um not much to talk about just about the past so um i wanted to deal with that in the movie it's in a, in a very you know it's in a minor um uh, there are minor nuance there but um so I guess in my next, my next one. Uh, yeah, we, we we could go on forever. I think we, we need to end. I just want to say that uh, the film was a huge hit and in Israel was actually the first post-COVID uh, local box office hit. And also, no, interesting... it, was the, yeah, it was while COVID. It was the third, the third wave of the COVID was just, uh, yeah, but um, yeah, it was. Um... I have to repeat your question in one sentence. So, did did anyone get divorced because of the film? <laughs> well, you know, it's it's um, when you see people going out of the of the. I mean, we were watching the audience after that, so people were like, there was a challenge actually uh, on TikTok, uh, the the perfect stranger challenge, that. Uh, brave brave people were playing uh to put their phone uh but uh, i <laughs> i guess you know people are trying to put their phone with their face up and not uh down but uh i don't know what the force is <laughs> but yes um it yeah i mean it makes it makes you ask questions you know yeah even if you're not hiding anything, I mean, it's just, you know. You know, a, a friend just told me that people are the, the only animal that has a secret life, like dogs. They don't have a secret life. We're, we humans are the only ones that, that have like a double life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, really, thank you. Have a good night.